Hello everybody, how are you? Today, in global stage, we are in unit seven, lesson one, in safe hands. We will start with vocabulary part. The first word that we have is accident. Accident, what's the meaning of accident? An event, an event that causes damage or injury. Then allergic reaction. Allergic reaction. When your body responds badly to something you eat or touch. For example, an allergic reaction to cats, selfish, milk, etc. The next one, band aid. Band aid. Something you stick over a cut on your skin to protect it. Something you stick over a cut on your skin to protect it. Burn, burn, an injury that you get from something very hot. For example, if you get too close to the fire, you will be burned, you will burn yourself. Concussion, what's the meaning of concussion? A head injury that makes you feel sick or confused. Cut, cut means Damage to your skin from something sharp. Disinfect. Disinfect makes something clean so it cannot cause infection. To the like, for example, to disinfect a toilet. Ice pack. What's the meaning of ice pack? A bag of ice you put on an injury. Injured. Hurt in an accident. Rush. Also, you fresh an area of a small red spots on your skin. Swell. Swell, what's the meaning of swell? When an area of the body becomes larger than normal. This is in page 26 in your booklet. And now we can answer some questions about it in page 28. Now in page 28, exercise number three, fill in the spaces using the word between the brackets. We have band eight, burned, injured, rush, concussion, allergic reaction, cut, swell, ice pack, doesn't affect. Excellent. Number one, you need to space this one immediately. What do you think? Disinfect. So you need to disinfect this one immediately. Number two, I didn't mean to kick you. It was an space, it was an accident. Yes, it was an accident. Number three, Omar can't drink cow's milk. He has a space to it. He has allergic reaction. Number four, after the accident, Tom got injured, yes. Number five, he came out in a rush where the plant had touched him. So I saw it. <laughs> he came out in a space where the plant had touched him. He came out in a rush. Number six, he was rushed to the hospital suffering from a space concussion. He's suffering from concussion. I space my finger with vegetables, knife. I cut my finger. Number eight, the people inside the building couldn't get out and they were all space to this. Burned. They were all burned to this. Number nine, you can use this space for your entry. Band eight, you can use band eight. After the four, her uncle began to up, you become swell up. Swell up means to become bigger. At the same lesson, we have active and passive voice present simple. What's the meaning of active voice? We use the active passive when we are more interesting in the action than who or what did the action. So what's the meaning of passive? Passive, we are more interesting in the action itself not the one who did the action. First thing to emphasize the object 
receiving the action like what? Like for example, Lama is selected for a free gift. B, to emphasize the action instead of the actor. But for example, our car is repaired by our neighbor. Letter C, when the agent door is unknown, for example, her house is broken into last night. When the agent door is unimportant, for example, gas prices are raised again last week. Letter E, to this, to this, to the script or uh, to attractively by not naming the agent. For example, the keys are misplaced. Okay. Okay, how to change the active sentence to a passive? We have to follow this four, four rules. The first rule is the object become the subject. So here we make switching. We switch between the object and the subject. Number two, Use the verb to be in the tense of active verb. Number three, use the past participle. Number four, subject become object and use by before it. Let's go to the next page, page 30. For example, mom cleans my room. Mom is the subject, clean the verb, my room is the object. The first Step as we said, we have to switch between the subject and the object. So we start with my room, my room. Then we put the active verb. But the active verb we use the past participle. So is clean. So cleans would be as cleaned. Then we put by with the most important thing by then the object. So my room is cleaned by mom. Look at this table. If you found present simple statement, it would be am, is, or are plus past participle. What's the past participle? If you look back at the last page in your booklet, you will find the table have a list of irregular verbs. Verb, past simple, and past participle. It's the last page in your booklet. So here, if the sentence in present simple, like what? My mom cleans my room. It would be am, is, or plus past participle. Like, my mom is cleaned, my room is cleaned by my mom. So cleans here, we change it to is clean. Is plus plus participle of clean. What about present simple question? If we for the question and present simple, like what does your mom clean? It's the same thing. It's the same, it's very easy, don't be confused. Also we'll change it to am is or plus plus participle. Like what does your mom clean? What is cleaned by your mom? It's the same thing. We switch between the subject and the object. And we put the verb in past part. Uh, we put the verb in past participle. Okay. Like if we go to page, like if we go to page 31, look at number six. He opens the door. He opens the door. So first step, we have to switch between the object and the subject. How? We start with the door is opened by him. He will change to him. Okay. Number seven, we set the table. So first step, switch between the subject and the object. So the table is set, 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 set. So set is a past participle, it's also set. So the table is set by us. We can go to number nine. I draw a picture. Switch, first step is to switch. A picture is drawn by me. That's very easy. So what is the passive? As we said, the passive. When the most important or we are focusing on the action, not who did the action, okay? So the 
the, the rules, the first thing, the object becomes subject, the verb in this, the tense of the active verb, use the past participle, the subject become object and used by before it. Let's go to the lesson two, the vocabulary part. As, we, as you see here, call for help. Call for help. To contact someone, to tell them that you need help. There is an emergency, so you're calling for help. Drill, drill. A way of training people so they know what to do in emergency. What's it? emergency ex exit? What's the meaning of emergency, emergency exit? It's like a door in the building or a way, the way to go to get out of the building in emergency. Evocate. Evocate mean leave a place because it's unsafe. Leave a place because it's unsafe. First responder. What's the meaning of first responder? The person whose job is to arrive first to help in an accident or emergency. First responder, the person whose job is to arrive first to help in accident or emergency. Keep calm. Keep calm, not panic in difficult situation. Keep calm, not panic in different situations. Panic. Panic is the opposite of keep calm. Suddenly feeling very worried, unable to think clearly. You are very worried. If there's something hard happen so you get panic prepare prepare like get ready for something to prepare for your exam you're studying for your exam so are you are preparing for your exam rescue what's the meaning of rescue to take someone out of an emergency rescue to take someone out of an emergency sound the alarm sound the alarm Tell people there is an emergency. Sound the alarm. Tell people that there are an emergency. And now go to page 35. Exercise number three. I didn't need you to space me. To rescue me. Yes. Number two. If you space, she will be frightened. If you panic, yes. If you panic, she will be frightened. Number three, the space is at the back of the bus. The what? Panic, drill, emergency exit. Emergency exit, yes. Number four, it is important to prepare, keep calm, drill, in an emergency, it's important to keep calm. Helicopters were used to panic, evacuate, prepare people from their homes. Helicopter used to evacuate. Number six, please space the homeless cat. Please rescue the homeless cat. The homeless cat. So now, in this unit, we're in unit seven. We had lesson one and lesson two vocabulary and grammar lesson one, which is active and passive voice. What's the meaning of passive? When we are more interested in the action more than the one who did the action. Okay? And that's it for, day, for today. See you the next time, inshallah.